What's up everybody, welcome to my new video. Today we have some HTML and CSS. Now, I was on like chapter, on lesson like seven, but uh, I just simply re restarted the, the website. And obviously when you restart it, it restarts all the way to the beginning. So to further customize your YouTube video, Google. YouTube videos ID the ID is made up of characters to the right of the equals first four characters of the ID so to the right of the equals now this one is not the equals so it's kind of weird yeah so this one's not the equals this was the embed this one is this right here now this one's kind of weird because I'm gonna put in the correct answer but it's gonna say no it's gonna give me the wrong, the wrong answer for some reason. So it's asking, what do you click here after pasting your video's ID into the ID field? So you paste it here, and then you update player with selected options. Give me the first three characters. Give me the first three characters. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. This whole time I've been putting in update player. Like I've been doing the whole. I've been putting in all five words. I didn't know it was just the first three words. Now I know. Oh yeah, this one I got wrong. This one is just... Alright, let's see. So first off, upload the YouTube video. I think I remember how it goes. It was... Upload YouTube video. Have YouTube generate... Let's see... Copy and paste final iframe code into your document. We'll put that at last. Choose customizing options. That is somewhere up here. Click update player with selected options. That's somewhere down here. Enter your YouTube videos ID. Somewhere up here, I'm assuming. I think this one's up here. Maybe. Go to the... Go to Google Developers page. That one might be somewhere down here. Let me see if this makes sense though. So we have upload video to YouTube. Have YouTube generate preliminary iPhone code. Go to Google developers page. Without you going to the developers page, I think it automatically does it. Enter your video's YouTube ID. Click update player with the selected options. All right, let's see. Upload, have YouTube, go to, enter your video, ooh, choose customizing options, after enter your YouTube video's ID, and then click, alright, so I got it wrong, by one, I was one off, well two, because they're switched off, they're switched off, in order to further customize your YouTube video on Google developer page. You need your vert, your videos ID. You can't fully customize your video at YouTube. You have to go to Google. You've typed in your video's ID, but your video hasn't appeared. What's the next step? Give me the first three characters. Mm. Update? What is the last character of the video's ID? I'm assuming the question mark isn't part of the ID, so I'm gonna go with U. If you want to change the size of the video to 400 by 300, what is the name of the field you change? Dimensions? Aspect ratio. To get additional customization options, what do you click? Show player parameters. Additional? To banish the YouTube logo, what item do you check or uncheck? Give the first three letters. Modest branding. I didn't know you can do that. The YouTube logo. You can do that. First three letters, mod. 
You can't fully customize your video at the at YouTube. You have to go to Google. You have to you um you've typed in your video's ID. What's the next step? Update, of course. What is the last character of this video's ID? You. What is the name of the field that you change? Now I know that it's aspect, aspect ratio. To get additional customization options, it is show. And mod to remove the, the YouTube logo. Alright, and I'm Andy right here. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a good ass day. Peace out.